Hello friends, today we are doing a jazz technique class. I'm going to do my best to teach this as if you were right here in the classroom with me. So I will be explaining and talking through some of the exercises. However, as usual, I will put timestamps below. So if you just wanna to skip to the exercises themselves without the explanation, you are more than welcome to do so. If you enjoy this type of content and you are interested in more of a comprehensive step-by-step -step technique course that will walk you through each of these individual steps and movements and how to improve your dancing. You will probably like my upcoming dance technique course. As of the date that I'm posting this, it's not launched yet. So use the link down below to sign up for the waiting list. And if you're on the list, you will get a special little discount. If you're watching this later, maybe it already launched. And if that's the case, the link will also be down below for that. Let's get started. We are going to start with a warm up. Okay, let's get our blood flowing, our heart pumping a little faster. Starting with some jumping jacks. Now switch to jog in place. Back to jumping jacks. And jog in place again. Four, three, two, one. Plie and stretch, plie, stretch. Sink straight down and straight back up. We're gonna hold and pulse, pulse, pulse. Four, three, two, one. We straighten up, twist, release back, and up to the center. Twist, release back, and up. Again, center, twist. Release, and up, center, twist, release, and up. Another big plie and stretch, big plie and stretch. Arms come up, we flat back forward and hold. You can bring your feet parallel now. Bring your arms out wide into a T, keeping your back flat and neck long. Plie here and straighten again. Plie, and straighten, one more. Plie, straighten, drop it down, and then roll straight up. All right, we're gonna do a squat and a twist. Squat and a twist. Don't worry, the warm up is just for this one song. That's all you have to get through. We wanna make sure our muscles are nice and warm before we get dancing. All right, now into a little side lunge. So back to the side and up, but faster. So out and up, out and up. Really push off that leg and use lots of energy to get back to the center. A few more, four, three, two, one. Let's bring our arms up and release. Now taking it into a very light stretch. We won't be holding these stretches very long. If you feel like you need an extra stretch after this, feel free to take a few minutes to do so. But really you don't need to do a crazy deep stretch right before you dance. You should probably save that for after you're done with all of your movement for the day. But I do wanna make sure that we find length in our hamstrings, in our hips, and everything's kind of just loosened up and ready for the rest of the class. So let's drop it first down into this sumo squat. So here, make sure that you are straight down. Here, you're not pitched forward and you're not leaning back forward like this. You're probably not doing this. You're probably doing something like this. So go straight down and now press one of your legs, your knees out to the side. Now let's switch sides. We're gonna drop it down to the center to our elbows. Just hang here. All 
right, let's straighten those legs up and reach forward through the center of our legs. If you can't touch the floor yet, you have the option to hold on to your calves um, or you can hold the backs of your thighs. Just make sure that your legs are as straight as you can get them. You can also grab onto your elbows and just let gravity pull you down. So make sure you're breathing. Let's take a plie here, so bend in the knees and straighten. Again, plie and straighten. Now turn to one side. Here, I want you to lengthen your spine. So no crunched up back like this. You're nice and long and you're either here or you're halfway or you're further down or you're all the way down. So up to you, wherever you can find that length. Let's lift our back heel up and lower. Front toes up and lower. Hold. Now twist to the other side. Same thing here. So finding the length in your spine. Lift your back heel up and lower. Front toes up and lower. Take this into a lunge, runner's lunge. Drop your back knee, both hands on the front leg. Squeeze through your glute muscles, so your booty muscles, and you will feel this in your hip. Take the opposite arm of the leg that you have in front, and then reach over to the side. And release, back up to that lunge. And let's switch it to the other side. Lunge on the other side. Making sure that your back leg is nice and straight. And drop your back knee. Hands come up to my front leg. Squeezing my glutes so that I feel the stretch in my hip. Opposite arm of the leg you have in front. And then reach over to the side, over that front leg. and release. Starting with an exercise for our feet and our ankles and to improve our balance. So you're gonna go from first position. If you're able to connect your heels and straighten your legs all the way up, you should connect your heels, but I physically cannot do that. So that's why I have a little space in between my feet. You can keep your arms just out here in a T or if you'd like to just put them on your hips so you don't have to think about them at all, that is fine as well. You're going to take a plie in first, a releve up, keeping all 10 toes on the floor and not wobbling your heels or your weight back onto your pinkies or putting too much on the front. All 10 toes have equal distribution of weight. You come up, you lower into a plie, then you tendu front, close in. Do that again. Releve, plie, other side, out, and close. And you keep going up and down, then you go to the side and in, then you'll go up, down, tendu, up, down, tendu, to the back. So you go front, side, back, side. And I will, of course, be doing it alongside you, so if you're confused, that's fine. I talked a little bit about the releve, but let's talk about our feet in the tendus. So you should be aiming to keep the ball of your foot, which is this part right here, the big flat part on the top, that part should be trying to stay on the floor for as long as possible before you ultimately point all the way through the foot to the toes. So this is called brushing your feet. This position where you're halfway is also called demi-point. I call it a Barbie foot because it looks like Barbie's feet, you know, if they're like permanently like this. So we do that once through, then we'll repeat the same thing. But instead of the tendu, which stays on the floor, we'll make it into a degage, which brushes off the floor. Just a little bit, it's not high. It's like literally just off the floor. And since we are in first position for all of these, I want you to think about rotating your legs and maintaining turnout. So don't let your legs turn parallel like this. You wanna think about your heel and the inside of your leg. Like if you have a seam in your leggings like me, that seam is what's showing forward. And that's in every single position. So when I go to the side, I'm not going like this. I'm turning it out. Same thing to the back. I'm not going parallel. I'm turning it out. 
Okay, so you do the degages. Then we do it one more time with a grand bat ma, which is essentially a kick. In all of these, you're brushing the floor. It gets harder when you're doing the kicks and when you're doing the degage because you're trying to get there faster and you're probably gonna think less about your feet and more about getting your legs high, but really push yourself. Okay, and as you do the tendu, the degage, the grand bat ma, make sure that your standing leg, the one that's not doing anything, it should be super straight. So when I say it's not doing anything, actually it is doing something. It's doing a lot of things. It's pulling up tall. It's like this leg is a tree trunk rooted into the ground and you are growing up out of that leg. So you should feel really stable and tall on this leg rather than like falling over to the side and letting it bend. So let's try it. Make sure you have space to do your grand bat mas or your kicks. Okay, I'm gonna have my arms out to the side. So starting with the plie. Five, six, seven, go. Plie, relevé, plie, tendu front. Plie, relevé, plie, other side. Now plie, up to the side, tendu. Plie, up, other side, tendu. Now it's the back, up, plie, tendu. Back with the other leg. One more time to the side. To the side, last one. Now dégagé, so it comes off the floor. Brush it out, plie, stretch, brush it out. Plie, stretch, brush to the side. Keep those legs rotated, keep growing tall, and go nice and high on your eleve, or relevé. Plie, brush, last time to the side. Now, grand bat ma, plie, up, plie, brush. Plie, brush. So I'm just taking my legs to 90 right now, because I am not ready for higher kicks. To the back. To the back. Last time, both sides, and brush. And brush. Shake it out. Your arms might be tired. Calves might need a little bit of love. Good, let's move on. Moving into an exercise that will help prepare you for turns. So now my feet are parallel. I am going to tendu to the side and now it is okay for my leg to not rotate. Since this is a parallel position, I don't expect you to go like this. You can keep those knees forward. Okay, so you tendu. You go into your prep for a jazz pirouette. It should look something like this. From there, you're shooting up into passe. Now level one, the basic version, is to stay on a flat foot. Level two, a little bit more advanced, and this is a challenging exercise if you decide to do this, you will go up on eleve, releve, sorry. Let me show the flat foot version first though. So it's a tendu, prep, balance, plie, straight, plie, straight, lower down. And then you go the other direction. So it's the same thing. You tendu, prep, balance, you plie, you straighten, you plie, you straighten, and you close. And we're gonna repeat that three times on each side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. If you choose to do the harder level, you come all the way up, you plie. You come up again, you plie, you come up, Plie, lower. So it is a lot harder, but it will really force you to find your balance, which is so important for turns. Whichever one you choose, we wanna make sure that we snatch that foot in to passe as quickly as we can. Make sure that your toes and your heel try to connect to the side of your knee. So don't let it be just your toes. Don't sickle your foot like this. You want the whole foot to try and attach. And as you do that plie, see if you can bring your passe just a tiny bit higher. And all throughout, make sure that you're not losing the engagement in your core muscles and arching your back. You wanna pull your core tight and think about your tailbone going down towards the floor. That way you're in one nice straight line here and then you pull up into passe and you're already where you need to be. Try and get this knee nice and flat. It gets a little tabletop and you can put a cup of tea here and drink off of it or coffee, I'm a coffee girl myself. Let's do it, guys. Here we go. 
five, six, seven, eight. Tendu, prep, balance, plie, stretch, plie, stretch, close. Other side, prep, balance, plie, straighten, plie, straighten, and close. Right side again, or whatever is the other side for you. Straighten, plie, straighten, and close. Up, plie, stretch, plie. Last time. And close, finish. Now we'll repeat that in a turned out position. So I'll start from first position. I keep my legs turned out as I tendu. I go to a turned out fourth position prep. And then you have the option. You can go to a coupe or you can go into a full passe. And notice we're turning out our legs here this entire time. Up to you which one you wanna choose. This is helpful if you are working on doing your coupe turns or if you're doing any kind of turn sequence that has a turned out leg. So even something like fuete turns where your leg should be turned out. So same thing, three times on each side. Starting in first, five, six, seven, eight. Tendu prep, coupe or passe. Straighten, plie, straighten, lower down. Other side. You can also mix it up and do a few coupes and a few passes. Out, back, up, plie, stretch, plie, stretch. Other side, out. One more time on each side. So really working on our control here. And finish, shake it out. Moving into some actual pirouette turns. We are going to do a slide down, which is like kind of like a chasse, but I'm parallel. Then I do a pas de beret. Don't worry, in a second, I'll turn around so that you can see my feet for this. But I'm taking my foot back, opening side, then I land in front in my prep. From here, you do a balance, or you do a single, or you do a double, or a triple, however many turns you want to do. And you land your turn out in an eleve, releve, kind of second position-ish. So from the back, it'll look like this. You have slide, back, side, prep, then you balance or you turn, and you land. Then you'll start again. Slide, back, side, front, turn, and land. If you have the space to continue following one direction, like all the way across the floor, you can do that. If you have less space like I do, I think I might do it twice this way, and then twice this way, twice this way, and twice this way, right? So I'm gonna go back and forth. You could also go once this way, once this way. The reason that I like you to land out here in the second position in releve is for you to see how much control you actually have over that turn. Because if you're just like spinning and not really thinking about pulling up nice and tall and staying on one side, then it's gonna be really hard for you to land this gracefully. It can also show you as you land, if you are leaning forward like this, that means you might be leaning too far forward as you turn. You might be turning a little like this. Or if you're falling back, maybe you're turning and holding your weight back as you turn. Use it as a tool to adjust how you do your turn or your balance. And of course, when you land out in that releve position, make sure that you have weight over all 10 toes. It's really easy, I do it sometimes, it's really easy to start rocking back onto our heels when we try and catch ourselves. But that's just gonna make things worse. That's gonna make it harder for you to catch yourself. So stay nice and strong, we almost slipped, and just think, Ball of your foot is what presses into the floor. Counts will go one, two, three, four, up and out. One, two, three, four, five, six, out, seven. Let's try it. I'm going to do two, 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 two. So that's a total of eight. I'm probably going to mix it up doing both balances and turns. So do whatever is right for you today. Five, 
six, five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, hold, out. Turn her balance. Good. Connect that passe. Good. Ooh. Last two. And relax. Okay, something a little less technical, but still important because we're gonna be working on weight changes, kind of the textures of our arms, trying to be nice and sharp, but also smooth at other parts. So you're starting with two jazz walks, and don't worry if you don't have a ton of space because this goes back and forth. So I jazz walk one, two, then I step down, drag. I'll do this all to the back in a sec as well. Stepping right, left, right, drag, left. My arms are coming up by my ears, um, so they're just straight up here. I will then go step right leg, my arms clean down, chug. So a chug, if you've ever done that before, basically you're replacing the leg in front with the leg behind, and you bend the knee. So it's like that passe position we were doing earlier, but you just have to figure out how to switch the weight. And then you do one more of those, but in this one, my arms are in a little L. The second one, you'll go step, low V arms, which means like this. And that's the end. So from the back, you have two walks on the right leg. You walk right, left, you step right, drag left, then you step right, chug, left, chug. I'll do it one more time a little bit faster. And then of course you can rewind if you're confused. Two walks on the right leg. Right, left, step right, drag left. Step, chug, step, chug. And I think the first time I showed it, I might have done different arms. But from the chug, the first one here, the second time, you step down and your arms clean by your sides before they go out again. All together quickly, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From there, you would just start again. One, two, three, drag, four, five, six, seven, so when I said this is to work on weight changes, you'll see that you're changing here. You change to the left. You step, change your weight back. Step, change your weight back. I think that's one of the hardest things as a dancer to develop is the skill of figuring out where to change your weight. So we're gonna do the right side, that exact combo three times in a row, and then we'll switch and do the left. Okay, I'll face the back the first time. Five, six, five, six, seven. You step right, step, drag, step, chug. Again, walk, step, drag, chug. Last time, walk, step, drag, chug, chug. Okay, so now to the left. Now take a second and think about it on the left. I'll demo it to the left one time. You'll step with your left leg, step, 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 drag, step, replace, step, replace. Five, six, five, six, seven, you walk, step, drag, up, down, walk, step, drag, up. Last time, walk, walk, step, drag, replace, replace. One more combo for our legs and our leaps. You're going to come forward doing two triplets. So that means you take three steps and it goes high, high, low. By high, I mean you're on releve for the first two steps. And then when I say low on that third one, that means you're going down into a plie. So I should see a level change. You should be up and then down. As you take the step, you're gonna bring the same arm that you walk forward with up in the air. So if I'm stepping forward on my right, my right arm comes up, 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 down. Then I switch, 
up, up, down. From the back, it looks like up, up, down, up, up, down. I'll just stay to the back. You just finished here. You're going to take a ball change. You go right, left, then you fan your right leg up, fan, kick. You're gonna directly out of that, run, run, leap. I'm gonna scoot this way so I room. Run, run, leap, whatever arms you wanna do for that leap. Run, run, leap. Then you just back it up, five, six, seven, eight, so we could start again. So from the top, you do two triplets. One and two, three and four. Ball, change, fan, run, run, leap, then move it back where you came from. Let me show you fast from the front. And I'm not gonna take my triplets very big because I don't have a lot of room. But if you do have room to travel, practice like really traveling with these. So I triplet forward, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, leap, three, four, move it back, six, seven, eight, start again. Let me face the back for you first, five, six, five, six, seven, we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, run, run, leap, move it back, Again, one and two, three and four, ball, change, and run, run, leap, move it back. Last time, one and two, three and four, five, six, seven, run, run, leap, move it back. I'm gonna let you try and reverse it on the left in your own head. You can pause it for a second and figure it out, but I'm not gonna show it, I'm just gonna do it with you guys. Five, six, five, six, seven, we go. One and two, three and four, five, six, seven. Run, run, leap, move it back again. One and two, three and four, five, six, up. Run, run, leap. I know I'm doing tiny leaps. Up, up, ball, change, fan. Run, run, leap. Move it back. The floor in here is not the best for leaping. It doesn't have Marley under it, which is why I avoided jumping up. But this is the end of our class. I really hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you're interested in my course, please see the link below. If you put your email on the wait list, then you will get a little bit of a discount. But I hope you enjoyed this class and I will see you in my next video. Bye.